when you are applying for a phd position be it in india or abroad there are a lot of things which are expected from you they will expect you to qualify some national level exam they will expect you to sit in an interview and perform well over there and at many places they will also expect you to write a research proposal now writing a research proposal is not easy it takes a lot of time a research proposal has to be novel it has to be a very new idea and at the same time it has to be descriptive and very clear now although it helps the examiner to understand your research goals and to understand that how informative you are about a research field but being a master student it is very difficult for you to write a research proposal of your own from starting hello everyone i am nurul huda and welcome to all about research youtube channel on this channel we talk about research related stuffs at phd and postdoc level now today in this video i'll be talking about that how you can write down a research proposal using a ai tool jenny now as i said that research proposal if you try to write it down of your own without having any prior information or any prior knowledge of writing or academic writing that is going to take a lot of time now that's where a lot of ai tools have come up and jenny is one of the best tool which i have used in recent past it not only cuts down your time of writing a research proposal but it also provides you very informative and creative ideas where you can it's you can understand and you can figure out what is your topic on which you want to do research so today in this video i'll take you through the entire workflow of starting from right from the starting where i'll be talking about how to figure out your idea or your topic of research proposal to finishing out your research proposal including your references and all the things i will also talk about certain very creative tools which are there in jenny ai which helps you to write down the things which looks more human and less ai okay that's the best feature of it because what we are trying to do is we are trying to include our ideas with the ai capabilities and we are trying to make it academically more better academic writing has a certain flow and when you are writing a research proposal it has to go through a flow and it does not comes that easily okay so using these tools are going to help you to provide that initial flow and once you are on to it then you can do these things of your own so let's get started and i'm going to show you how you can use jenny ai to write a research proposal right from the starting now you can log into your jenny account and you can directly go to ai chat you will find this feature over here on the corner of the screen and once you click on this you can have this section over here now this is what we are going to use to generate our topic or you can say to figure out the topic of interest let's say that i have no idea about what topic i want to do research upon and i i have no idea about it so i will ask jenny to suggest me certain topics about it okay so let's start with it so i will try to make this video related to my field but it is applicable everywhere you can just change the thing uh, according to you and that's how it was going to do you can just ask jenny that uh, give me a research topic on uh, nanomaterials assisted um, biocatalysis now i have just taken a random topic this is my area of interest so you can just change this whole part with your area of interest it can be anything just if the more specific you will be at this place the better result you can expect from jenny now you can just send over here and in no time it is going to pop up with lot of ideas for you with lot of information for you and uh, which is going to give you certain idea that okay these are the things which i can read about okay so it has made your literature survey very easy for you so now what you can do is you can go through these all these research papers you can see these are all research papers related to what uh, like topic i have given okay and now you have to do certain literature survey because this literature survey is going to help you build up your own ideas and it is going to help you to write it down and to make your research proposal easy so you can only start writing when you read about it okay so that's why literature review is always recommended and it is something which everyone does even i also do after having like seven uh, eight years of my research career i still do a lot of uh, literature survey because the more you read the more you understand and the more you can write in a better way even 
professors who have like 40 50 years of research career they also do literature survey because that's how scientists work right so yeah it has made your literature survey easier by providing you some relevant information and for your uh, research proposal you can just go ahead with it if you want more you can ask it to generate more related stuffs or if not you can just go ahead and read about it okay so that is going to be your step one now, once you are done reading the next thing is to understand what you have read properly now when you are doing literature survey at that time also jenny can be super useful for you what you have to do is you have to go to library here and you have to upload the documents or you have to upload the research papers which you are reading let's say i chose the first paper here which is enzyme enhancing enzyme activity with nanomaterials and now i want to learn more about what are the things in this paper all i have to do is now upload that over here okay so i have to go to library and i have to upload this pdf over here so if you have access uh, to uh, these research papers you can download it or if not you can ask some friend to download this pdf for you and now you can upload it over here now once you have uploaded your research paper it will appear over here in your library so here is the research paper which i just uploaded now once you have your research paper open now you can ask different questions to this now you can see this is a very detailed research paper where they have shown how uh, you can uh, use nanomaterials for biocatalysis and there are a lot of things which are mentioned in this paper lot of enzymes and lot of catalyst lot of nanoparticles are mentioned for that sake so now i'm going to ask some very relevant questions to this okay for example i i'll ask that how uh, how are some of the insights uh, of this paper helpful uh, for my um, research proposal now when i will give this this is how jenny is going to be more interactive with you it is going to give you more ideas taking the information from the research paper fetching that out for you and it is going to give you some specific insights in this okay you can see that i don't have to go through the entire uh, research paper i can just give some uh, like some prompt to this ai and it is going to fetch me a lot of information from there directly to my screen now you can see that my 15 16 pages of literature has sorted down or it has been summarized over here in some points even i can ask it to summarize certain por portion of this particular paper for example i just want to summarize the conclusion so i will just ask that can you summarize the conclusion okay conclusion of this paper so then again the jenny is going to take some time and it is going to give you a conclusion of this whole paper okay and it also gives you some other applications of it in uh, which are mentioned in this particular paper and in the bullet form so it becomes easy for you to go through them them and understand what exactly are being used or what exactly are being said in this particular paper i have made some custom prompts which are super useful uh, which has been useful for me and even if you are doing a literature survey or when you are writing something related to a research paper they are going to be super useful for you you can see them right now on your screen i will also add a link to download them in the description of this video so that you can download all these prompts and you can play around with your paper with your research paper on the jenny platform the first step is to come up with some area of interest give that to jenny to provide you with certain relevant research papers then do specific literature survey ask jenny different questions to understand that literature in detail make your short notes and then you are good to start with it okay and then you can simply go to this new and from here itself you can start you can go for this document from here new and from here now you are ready to start your academic writing you can start writing uh, your uh, research proposal now it has three different variations over here by which you can start with it uh, let's say you don't want any outline with it uh, or start with a totally blank page or the second one is starting with some standard headlines or you want some creative headlines okay so it, it is up to you whatever you want i have seen that standard headings have worked almost every time because you want introduction methods you want uh, conclusion and all these standards 
standard headings in your research paper so standard works well so you just give a title to this that uh, developing an evolutionary or evolutional uh, nano biocatalysis biocatalyst okay um, that allows uh, recycling and reuse okay i have just given some random terms based upon what i have searched and then i can just press on start writing and um, here you can see it has uh, it has made itself more creative to provide you a much better topic or a much better heading that towards a sustainable future developing an evo evolutional nano biocatalysis for recycling and reuse um, and then you have all the standard headings over here introduction literature review when you are writing a research proposal you don't need results and discussion and uh, methodology because uh, you are actually proposing something so the title or the subheading goes like introduction is fine literature review is also fine methodology is also fine uh, here you instead of writing results you write down expected results okay and instead of discussion uh, we write down a, a timeline okay so we mention a timeline and then there is one more thing which is references okay so references will be added of its own so now you can start writing as i said because you already have now certain points with you while well, you are doing some literature survey you have certain points which you want to include so write down that you can even give those point as a rough point to jenny and it is going to create a good workflow for you let's say that i have made some uh, points and with that i have written certain part of it uh, basically literature survey will be the first part or literature review will be the first part which you will be able to write down easily so let's say you have written this particular part now you are not happy with the writing of it because of course as i said that academic writing has a certain flow so you can just uh, ask jenny a lot of uh, like you can give a lot of prompts over here and that can be super useful for you so you can just select this and you can give certain prompts over here so you can go to this ai edit and you can click on this to uh, like edit it using ai or you can go to chat and then you can ask that uh, suggest a good uh, flow for these paragraphs or you can just say that I think these two paragraphs are not well synced uh, please suggest me a better flow for these for them okay and just send it and now jenny is going to give you a particular better flow of this particular paragraph okay so and it also gives you that here is why the flow might be better so it has provided you a better uh, flow from here you can see from here to here it has given you a better flow of it you can just copy and you can just paste over here and have another version of it all right so in the same way there are various other prompts i have mentioned that in the cheat sheet which i have shared it with you you can use that to enhance your writing skills one thing which i also want to include over here is when you will be writing it is always good to add uh, references now of course there are various different ways of adding references over here one of the way is through this particular library so if you have your papers already uploaded in library you can click here and you can just uh, select this site and it is going to cite that on the screen itself uh, let's say that you don't want to cite it and you want to know that where this part of paper comes from uh, or you don't know you just want some references for that okay so for that you just select this particular part and go to this prompt and say cite okay and then it is going to uh, give you certain papers or certain research papers which have suggested similar thing you can go to this discover panel and you can see that there are a lot of papers which are different from the one which we have used but still they have similar things mentioned so you can cite these papers from here itself so this is a smart way of citing research papers without using any site manager you don't need any third party site manager for for managing your sites 
and all your uh, like managing your citations and all your citations will be done at the same place of course they will also be written in the reference panel and here again you can change the format of your references uh, you can change it from here now there are like 1700 styles of writing uh, like references over here i love using american chemical society so i will use that uh, as uh, as one of the method for this so acs which is american so chemical society and as soon as i select it all the references are now in that format not only that but in the in my text also all the references are in the format of acs and that is so cool okay you don't have to use any manager for that now i hope that you will be able to write your own research proposal after watching this video very easily using jenny ai although most of the features which i have shown you in this video are available for free but if you want to upgrade your uh, your plan in that case they are available at a very minimal cost not only that the team at jenny ai are kind enough to collaborate with us for this video and provide you all these features at a discounted price i will provide you the link and the and the discount code in the description of this video uh, so do check out these features try to write your own research proposal using these features of jenny ai these has been super useful and you will love it you once you will start writing using these features you will see how effective they are and how less uh, time consuming they are if you write a research proposal using a trivial method or using the method uh, using just by your own that is going to take a lot of time which i have just shown you in few minutes and that can be done very easily using jenny that's it guys for this particular video thank you so much for watching and i wish you all a very successful research career do subscribe to this particular channel for more research related content and i will see you guys in the next video till then have a great day bye bye take care